Hi there, this is Miss Caitlin and welcome to another December Daily Draw. Today we're going to be making a stocking. Now as you can see in my picture here, we have a little friend that's popping out of the stocking, but today you can choose whatever you would like your stocking to have in it. I just happen to do a dog. Today is day number eight in the Daily Draw, so let's go ahead and begin. Now for our daily draw, you're just gonna need a piece of paper. Any paper will do because we are gonna be working with color pencil for the most part and a bit of Sharpie. So as long as your paper is equipped for that, you should be good. Now for my daily draw, you're gonna see me draw in Sharpie. That's just so that you can see, but I want you to draw with a pencil. So that way you can change any lines as you need. You can also make sure you have an eraser nearby. All right. So first off, let's begin with our number at the top. Today is day number eight, so we're just going to go ahead and draw ourselves a box. Now you can make this as fancy or as simple as you like. For me with Christmas, I really like going all out, especially during these winter months. So today I might go in and make my number a little more detailed, so I might add like a little bit of a design there. And I might even add in a little border around it today. I'm just doing simple U shapes or rainbow shapes. So you can feel free to do the same or you can do something completely different or you can just leave the box as is. Okay. Now for our stocking, we are gonna go and draw it kind of at an angle. So that way we can fit a good chunk of it on our piece. Let's start with the top. So I want you to take your pencil and right about here, we are going to draw a curved line. You can see it's ever so slightly curved. It's not so curved like a U, but you can still see it has that curve there. Then I want you to go to the left side and we are gonna start right here and you're gonna draw a wavy line like this. So almost like if you were gonna make like a backwards three, but very wavy. And do the same thing on the other side. There's your wave. Then we're gonna connect with another curved line all the way across. And that's gonna be the top of the stocking. Now you could have your name written here, you can write it in cursive, or you could try and make this look like a stocking that you have at home if you celebrate Christmas. Next, we're going to go ahead and draw the rest of the stocking. This is kind of like where it starts to look like a sock. So from here, I want us to start on the left side, draw just a line down. Go to the right side, and this time we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to make the line a little bit longer. So make that line a little bit longer than the one on the left. And then here, we're gonna have that sock part. So this is where we wanna draw almost like an oval, as if we were gonna draw an oval. So start right here on the left. You're gonna draw a curved line out, in, and then you're gonna draw all the way over and connect. So again, it's almost like you're doing a really long C shape, or almost like we were gonna draw an oval. So now we have the stocking. From here, we can kind of decide how we want to decorate this a number of ways. Again, you can maybe make it look like the stocking you have at home, or you can add in other things like a design on the stocking. You could add in the puppy. In fact, I'll show you what I did for the puppy now. So for the puppy, what I did is I started right about here above the stocking so that the puppy looks like it's going to be coming out from it. So I'm going to begin with a circle as a basic shape. So I'm going to draw the best circle I can. Then I'm going to give the puppy like a little bit of a cheek. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but if you look at my example, you can see the puppy just has a little bit of a cheek there. It's got these big, cute, puffy, puppy cheeks. So you're going to draw on this side, just a C shape that comes out and connects back to the circle. Then you can do this because you have an eraser. I don't because I did this in Sharpie you can erase this line right there because you don't need it anymore. Now again, at any point, if you need to pause the video just so that you can go comfortably at your own pace, please feel free to do so. Next, let's go ahead and draw in the ears for the puppy and then we'll draw the face. Now this puppy is looking a little bit to the side. It's in a three-quarter view, so we're not going to see both ears equally. 
I want you to go towards the top of the head and you're gonna draw a curved line up. You're gonna draw a wavy line. And then you're gonna draw a U shape. Now you don't need this part of the circle anymore. So you're gonna take your eraser and erase this line. All right, so for the other ear, we're not gonna see all of it because it's kind of hidden from our view. So go toward the top of the puppy's head on the left side, draw a line up, draw a curved line down, and then a curved line back towards the head. And that's all of the other ear we're really gonna see. From here, you can decide how you want the puppy's face to look. I'm just gonna draw two circles for the eyes. Then I'm gonna draw two little circles on the inside for the highlights, and you can add eyelashes if you want. You can also add a nose for your puppy here. You can draw an oval, a circle. I'm gonna draw an upside down triangle, and then a line underneath, and a W for the mouth. Now you could stop here if you'd like, but if you want maybe the tongue sticking out or the mouth to be open, you can draw a U shape under that. So now we need to draw some other parts for the puppy because right now our puppy's head is just kind of floating. So go underneath the puppy's head and draw one, two circles. And these are gonna be for the paws. Now anything that's going through your paws, like the stocking, or even a part of the puppy's head, you wanna erase that. You don't want those going through the paws can't see through puppies. Then we just need the back of the puppy. So go onto the side of the head and just draw a curved line that touches the stocking. And then scoot over a little ways, draw a curved line up and down for the tail. All right, and there we have it. You could also draw your stocking that's maybe on a line or maybe it's hanging from somewhere. So you can draw a circle, a rainbow, and a rainbow for maybe like a bow. You can decide if you want it to be a ribbon. So you can draw the line on the inside again. And you could even draw, like I said, maybe it's hanging on a string or a ribbon, a line of stockings, that's gonna be up to you. And there we have it. Now, as for the designs, we're gonna do that when we color. So what I want you to do now is outline all of this with Sharpie, just to make it easy on ourselves today. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my picture looks like when it's all outlined with Sharpie and it doesn't have all of these different little eraser lines. Though, if you do need to just see this for a little bit longer, pause the video here so that way you can see which lines you need to erase. Otherwise, let's keep going. So here is what the picture looks like once I outlined everything in Sharpie. You can also see I filled in a couple things. I filled in the puppy's eyes. I also kind of did more of a thick outline for the box. Now for our picture today, I'm going to be using color pencils to fill everything in. But of course, you can use other materials if that's what you have. Okay, so let's start with the stocking because it is the star of the show today. The puppy just happens to be coming out of it. All right, so for the stocking, I'm gonna be sticking to mostly red. Now, I need to sharpen my red pencil, so I'm gonna go ahead and get just a paper plate. Maybe your sharpener has like a catch at the bottom. So that way I can just have all of my pencil shavings in one spot and I can dump them all out later. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set this off to the side so that I have some room to color. And I want there to be stripes on this top part of my stocking. Again, maybe you've done something different, maybe a little more complicated, but I'm just gonna take my pencil and add in some stripes. So for these, I actually want them to be quite dark. So normally with color pencil, we press light, but for these, I want them to be very, very bold. So I'm going in and adding these stripes. If you want, you can also add shading with the color pencil. I encourage that, especially in areas that are left to be white. So you can take your red or whatever color it is you've decided to use, and you can add just a little bit of shading. Now, if you don't wanna use red, you could use light blue or even a green. And I think that would match our color scheme really well. 
So I can do just a little bit of shading along the sides here. And remember with color pencil, you do wanna press light for this part, especially. So hold that pencil up high and just take your time. Now, because this daily draw is done in color pencil, uh, you can really take um, quite some time with it. So don't feel pressured to go fast or try and finish at the same time as me. Just take your time. I just wanna make sure you know where I'm coloring, that's all. All right, if you wanna do more, feel free. You can also, with color pencil, add other designs. Maybe you want a Christmas tree or something. So I can take a green. I actually think I might wanna use a dark green just so I can get that outline nice and clear. Here we go. And you could, you know, of course, draw that in with regular pencil first, but you could outline with a green color pencil for the tree. Maybe you want a different color for the trunk of the Christmas tree. I'll just use black. And then you can design, decorate, fill it in. So I'm gonna do just a very simple tree for our project here, not for our project, for our example. But you can really get into it and have lots of fun adding all these intricate little designs. Color pencil really lends itself to that, to really detailed work. But just so that you don't have to watch me fill in every single itty bitty little thing. I'm not gonna do as many details as you are probably. So I'll just take my regular green and give that a light layer. Again, feel free to get as detailed as you want. Okay, so now that that's all filled in, I can go ahead and start thinking about other things I wanna add or I can even add in other things. So on my example, I added in little stars around the Christmas tree, so you can feel free to do the same. For these stars, I've done them with a green outline too. And then I filled the whole stocking in with red. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm only gonna do maybe one or two layers when I go to fill in the stocking. I would encourage you to do maybe a few more layers than that pressing light because that gets the color pencil to be really smooth. But just so again that you're not just watching me fill in the same spot for maybe 10 minutes, I'm gonna do just maybe one or two layers. So just giving you that heads up now. All right, so I'm gonna take the red and I'm gonna fill this in being careful to go around my stars. I also recommend maybe giving yourself a little bit of a buffer, an outline around the inside of the stocking. So that way when you go to color, you don't really have to worry about making sure as you're doing those big strokes, you're trying to keep the edges neat because you would have already done it by outlining or giving yourself that kind of cushion between the inside and the outside of the stocking. You can also apply the same idea to objects on the inside of the space. So that way it's just easier for you to keep going and moving quickly with the color pencil rather than trying to stay neat every two seconds. We can really take care of some of that organization and that neatness or that desire for neatness before we even begin to fill in these large spaces. Now, another trick to staying neat with a color pencil is making sure that in your first layer, especially, you are going in the same direction. So all of your strokes are going in the same direction. You can see for me, all of my strokes are going in one diagonal direction. And that really helps the color to look smooth at the end. So I'm not pressing hard. I'm not trying to get all of that color down all at once, I really wanna make sure that I'm getting this layer very even. Because this is such a large area, it's gonna be great practice for how we fill things in with color pencil when we have a big space. All 
All right, so I've almost got to the edge here of the stocking. And you can see that's a pretty good layer, but it still looks uneven. So that's why we add more layers with color pencil. Because we want things to look very even and smooth in our artwork. Now, if you want, you could try adding another layer going the same direction. Um, that will help, but what will usually be a lot more effective is doing a second layer going the opposite way. So you can see by me going the opposite direction of my first layer, I'm filling in a lot of those teeny tiny little white spaces that are left over. And it helps fill that space in just that much more. Now again, make sure you're really taking care of your hand color pencil when you use it for a really long period of time. Sometimes your hand might start to cramp or maybe the muscles right here and right here might start to tighten up a little bit. So if you ever notice that happening for yourself, just take a second to stretch your hand, take a break. You wanna make sure that you're taking good care of your drawing arm and your drawing hand because that's your most important tool. All right, so there's my second layer. You can see that really helped it. I would personally even do three or four layers, but this will do for now. Now, because we did one layer going one way and then a layer going the opposite direction, you might notice that we get this really cool hatching effect, which will add to the texture of maybe what the stocking is made out of, like a fabric. Now for the puppy and any other details, you can really have fun choosing whatever colors you'd like. Um, again, our color scheme is red, green, blue, black, and white. But really, as long as you are trying to stick to the color scheme, I think everything will turn out just fine. If you want to do a different color, that's okay too. I think that will be a-okay. All right, for the puppy, I am going to do a black fur puppy. So I'm going to go ahead and take my black color pencil and lightly add in color to the puppy here. It might turn out to be more of a gray puppy, and that's all right. Now, if you want some different textures, you could do something called scumbling. It's where you take your pencil and it's almost like you're scribbling, but you're taking your pencil, your color pencil, and you're moving in little circles over and over and over again. It might be kind of fun to do on the puppy because it'll make it look like maybe the puppy has curly hair. If you don't wanna do that for all of it, maybe you just wanna do like one layer, you could do First, a light solid layer underneath. Again, I might need to just adjust my paper here real quick so I can color comfortably, which by the way, if you need to do that for your paper, please feel free. You always wanna make sure that you are in a comfortable position to add in any color or just draw anything. There we go. Let me go ahead and fill in this little ear here. So you could take your pencil after maybe adding in like one or two layers. And you can do that color pencil technique if you want your puppy to have a different sort of fur texture. So you don't want to make this super scribbly. It is kind of like an organized or a neat way of scribbling. Typically, when you are gonna do scumbling, you are trying to fill in the entire space without any white spaces this way. And it looks still uh, very interesting, very much different from how we would color normally. But for our purposes today, we're just trying to add a bit of, just a little bit of texture. Nothing beyond that. All right. For the nose, I'm gonna fill it in, I think also with black, and then I'll do the little tongue as red. All right, and then for your number, you can have fun, again, filling that in however you like. I think I'm just going to fill in the inside of the number eight with some red. And then I think I shall call this complete. So again, add more layers for your color pencil that will really help uh, make the piece look even more vibrant, more bright, your colors will become more solid. 
Um, but that's the end of today's daily drop. Remember to share. You can go onto our Fibo Village Facebook page. There is a post with this underneath, or you can just share it onto our page. If you can't quite find the post, that's all right too. I think we would love to see what you've created and what kinds of things you changed um, about your stocking that you created today. We will see you again tomorrow for another daily drop. Have a great rest of your day and bye for now.